Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Troubleshooting Prevent Server has no sufficient permissions error, a comprehensive guide. The Prevent Server has no sufficient permissions error is a common issue faced by Android users utilizing the Prevent application, a tool used for app hibernation and battery saving. This error essentially means that Prevent, despite being granted permissions, isn't able to properly execute commands that require root level access or specific system permissions necessary for its functionality. This tutorial will provide a deep dive into the causes of this error, the various troubleshooting steps you can take to resolve it, and include code examples where applicable to help you understand the underlying concepts. Understanding the problem asterisk. Prevent requires root access or specific permissions granted via ADB, Android Debug Bridge, to operate effectively. The insufficient permissions error arises when 1. Root access is not granted or properly enabled asterisk if Prevent relies on root access and your device is rooted but root management tools, like Magisk or SuperSU, are not properly configured to grant Prevent access, this error will occur. 2. ADB permissions are not correctly set asterisk if you're using Prevent in ADB mode, without root, the required permissions haven't been granted, or the granted permissions have been revoked due to system updates or other factors. 3. Prevent is corrupted or outdated asterisk the Prevent application itself might have corrupted files or be an outdated version with bugs that prevent it from working correctly with your device's Android version or security policies. 4. Conflicting apps asterisk other applications interfering with Prevent's ability to access system resources or execute commands can also cause this error. 5. SE Linux enforcing asterisk in some rare cases, even with proper root access, SE Linux, security enhanced Linux, might be blocking Prevent's actions. SE Linux is a security module in Android that enforces access control policies. 6. Incorrect initialization asterisk occasionally, the Prevent server might not initialize correctly after a device reboot, requiring a manual restart. Troubleshooting steps, ordered by likely success. We'll progress from the simplest and most common solutions to more advanced troubleshooting. 1. Confirm and grant root access, if applicable. Asterisk check for root asterisk verify that your device is actually rooted. You can use apps like Root Checker from the Google Play Store. Asterisk Magisk slash Super SU Asterisk if you're using Magisk, open Magisk Manager. Go to the Super User section, usually the shield icon at the bottom. Asterisk Find Prevent Asterisk Search for Prevent in the list of apps. Asterisk Grant Root Access Asterisk Ensure Prevent is granted root access, the switch should be toggled to the on position. If Prevent isn't in the list, open Prevent, and try hibernating an app. This should trigger a root request from Magisk. Asterisk Persistent Grant Asterisk Ensure that the root permission for Prevent is set to always allow or equivalent to prevent future prompts. Asterisk Super SU Users Asterisk If you are using Super SU, follow the same procedure in the Super SU application. Asterisk root stability asterisk sometimes, root implementations can be unstable, especially if you've recently flashed a custom ROM or made system modifications. Consider reflashing your root solution if the problem persists. 2. Verify ADB permissions, non-root users. This is the primary method for using prevent on non-rooted devices. Asterisk Enable Developer Options Asterisk 1. Go to your device's Settings app. 2. Scroll down to About Phone or About Tablet. 3. Find Build Number and tap it repeatedly, usually 7 times, until you see a message saying you are now a developer. This unlocks Developer Options. Asterisk Enable USB Debugging Asterisk 1. Go back to the Main Settings menu. To look for developer options, it might be hidden under system or advanced. 
3. Enable USB debugging. You might get a warning message, acknowledge it. 4. Optional, but recommended enable install via USB or allow ADB side loading if available. This can help with permission installation. Asterisk install ADB on your computer asterisk. 1. Download asterisk download the Android SDK platform tools, ADB, from the official Google Developers website, https slash slash developer.android.com slash studio slash releases slash platform tools, https colon slash slash developer.android.com slash studio slash releases slash platform hyphen tools. To extract asterisk extract the downloaded zip file to a folder on your computer, example c backslash adb or slash home slash user slash adb. Avoid using spaces in the path. 3. Add to path, optional but recommended adding adb to your system's path environment variable allows you to run adb commands from any directory in your terminal. Asterisk windows asterisk. One search for environment variables in the Windows search bar and click edit the system environment variables. Two click environment variables. Button. Three in the system variables section, find the variable named path, or path. Four select it and click edit. Five click new and add the path to your adb folder, example c backslash adb. 6. Click OK on all the windows to save the changes. You may need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Asterisk Linux slash Mac OS asterisk. 1. Open your terminal. 2. Edit your shell's configuration file, example .bashrc, .zshrc, or .profile. You can use a text editor like Nano or Vim. 3. Add the following line to the file, replacing slash path slash to slash your slash adb slash folder with the actual path to your adb folder. 4. Save the file and close the editor. 5. Reload your shell configuration. Asterisk connect your phone and authorize adb asterisk. 1. Connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable. To make sure your phone is unlocked and the screen is on. 3. Important asterisk a prompt should appear on your phone asking you to allow USB debugging. Check the box that says always allow from this computer and then tap allow. This is critical for persistent ADB access. If you miss this prompt, disconnect and reconnect your phone. Asterisk grant prevent permissions via ADB asterisk. 1. Open a command prompt or terminal on your computer. 2. Navigate to the ADB directory using the cd command. For example. 3. Execute the following ADB commands, one by one, pressing enter after each. Asterisk explanation asterisk. Asterisk ADB shell, executes a command in the Android shell. Asterisk PM grant package permission grants the specified permission to the specified package. PM stands for package manager. Asterisk me.pybridge.prevent, this is the package name of the prevent app. Asterisk android.permission.write underscore secure underscore settings, allows prevent to modify secure system settings. Asterisk android.permission.package underscore usage underscore stats, allows prevent to access app usage statistics, needed for hibernation. Asterisk oppose set package android mock underscore location allow, allows prevent to use mock location providers, which is a workaround for some permission restrictions. Asterisk android.permission.read underscore external underscore storage, allows prevent to read from external storage. Asterisk android.permission.write underscore external underscore storage, allows prevent to write to external storage. 4. Verify the commands asterisk you should see output similar to this, no errors. If you see security exception, package x does not belong to user y, it means you've connected as a different user on the device. Disconnect and reconnect your phone, 
ensuring it's unlocked, and try again. 5. Restart prevent asterisk close prevent completely and then reopen it. 3. Check for USB connection issues asterisk asterisk. Asterisk cable quality asterisk try using a different USB cable. Some cables are only designed for charging and don't reliably transmit data. Asterisk USB port asterisk try a different USB port on your computer. Some ports might have connectivity issues. Avoid using USB hubs if possible, connect directly to a USB port on your motherboard. Asterisk USB debugging authorization revoked asterisk occasionally, the USB debugging authorization you granted earlier might be revoked, especially after a system update. Disconnect and reconnect your phone, and ensure you get the allow USB debugging, prompt again and select always allow from this computer. Asterisk device driver issues asterisk rarely, your computer's USB drivers for your Android device might be corrupted or outdated. You may need to reinstall or update them. Search online for Android USB drivers or ADB drivers for your specific phone model. Asterisk MTP slash PTP mode asterisk ensure your phone is connected in MTP, media transfer protocol, or PTP, picture transfer protocol, mode not charging only mode you can usually change this in the usb connection settings on your phone often in the notification shade when you connect the phone adb requires mtp or ptp mode 4. reinstall or update prevent asterisk 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 corrupted installation asterisk sometimes the prevent application files themselves might be corrupted Asterisk outdated version asterisk an older version of prevent might have bugs or compatibility issues with your device's Android version. Asterisk solution asterisk. 1. Uninstall prevent asterisk uninstall prevent from your phone. 2. Download the latest version asterisk download the latest version of prevent from the Google Play Store or from a trusted source like the official prevent website, if available. 3. Reinstall asterisk install prevent. 4. Repeat permission granting asterisk after reinstalling, you'll need to repeat the ADB permission granting process, if you're using non-root mode, or grant root access again, if you're using root mode. 5. Check for conflicting apps asterisk asterisk. Asterisk battery savers and task killers asterisk aggressive battery saver apps, task killers, or RAM boosters can interfere with Prevent's operation by killing Prevent's background service or restricting its access to system resources. Disable or uninstall such apps. Asterisk VPNs asterisk some VPN apps can interfere with ADB connections or network permissions required by Prevent. Try disabling your VPN temporarily to see if that resolves the issue. Asterisk permission managers asterisk some apps that manage permissions can inadvertently revoke or restrict prevents permissions. Check any permission manager apps you have installed. Asterisk solution asterisk identify and disable or uninstall any apps that might be conflicting with prevent. Restart your phone after making changes. 6. Clear prevents cache and data asterisk asterisk. Asterisk sometimes, corrupted cache data within the prevent app can cause issues. Asterisk steps asterisk. 1. Go to your device's settings app. 2. Go to apps or applications. 3. Find prevent in the list of apps. 4. Tap on storage. 5. Tap clear cache and then clear data. Note asterisk clearing data will reset prevent settings, so you'll need to configure it again. 6. Restart prevent. 7. Repeat the ADB permission granting or root access granting process. 7. SE Linux, Security Enhanced Linux, Advanced, Proceed with Caution. Asterisk understanding SE Linux asterisk SE Linux is a security module in Android that enforces access control policies. In rare cases, 
even with root access, SE Linux might be blocking prevents actions. Asterisk checking SE Linux status asterisk. 1. Connect your phone to ADB. 2. Open a terminal and run the following command. 3. If the output is enforcing, SE Linux is in enforcing mode. If the output is permissive, SE Linux is in permissive mode, less restrictive. Asterisk setting SE Linux to permissive, temporarily, for testing only. Warning asterisk setting SE Linux to permissive mode lowers your device's security. Only do this for testing purposes to see if it resolves the issue. Revert back to enforcing mode as soon as possible. 1. Connect your phone to ADB. 2. Open a terminal and run the following command. You need root access for this to work. 3. Restart prevent and see if the issue is resolved. Asterisk reverting to enforcing mode asterisk after testing, immediately revert SE Linux to enforcing mode. Asterisk creating a SE Linux policy, highly advanced and risky, not recommended for beginners if setting SE Linux to permissive mode fixes the issue, the proper solution is to create a custom SE Linux policy that allows prevent to perform the necessary actions without compromising system security. This is a very complex process that requires a deep understanding of SE Linux and should only be attempted by experienced users. Consult online resources and forums for guidance. Incorrect SE Linux policies can severely damage your device's security. 8. Restart prevent server manually asterisk asterisk. Asterisk some users have reported that manually restarting the prevent server can fix permission issues. Asterisk rooted users asterisk. 1. Open a terminal emulator on your phone. 2. Type su and press enter to gain root access. 3. Execute the following commands. Asterisk non-rooted users asterisk you'll need to use ADB to execute these commands. 1. Connect your phone to ADB. 2. Open a terminal and run the following commands. Important note asterisk the pkill command to kill the service requires root access. If you're on a non-rooted device, this command will likely fail silently, but the m start service command might still work, potentially resolving the issue. If it doesn't, ADB mode might not be fully functional. 9. Factory reset, last resort. Asterisk if all other solutions fail, a factory reset is a last resort this will erase all data on your phone, so back up your important data first. Asterisk steps asterisk. 1. Go to your device's settings app. 2. Look for general management or system. 3. Tap on reset. 4. Tap on factory data reset. 5. Follow the on-screen instructions. Asterisk after the factory reset, reinstall prevent, and try again. Code examples, illustrative. While the above steps are primarily manual, these code snippets demonstrate the concepts involved. Asterisk checking root access, Kotlin slash Java. Asterisk executing ADB commands, Java. Important considerations asterisk. Asterisk Android version asterisk the specific steps and available options may vary depending on your Android version. Asterisk device manufacturer asterisk some device manufacturers have custom Android implementations that can affect how permissions work. Asterisk security updates asterisk Android security updates can sometimes change permission behavior, requiring you to re-grant permissions. Asterisk prevent updates asterisk always keep prevent updated to the latest version. By following these troubleshooting steps and understanding the underlying principles, you should be able to resolve the prevent server has no sufficient permissions error and successfully use prevent to hibernate apps and improve your device's battery life. Remember to prioritize security and only use ADB commands and root access when absolutely necessary. Good luck.